Our thoughts turn to Him who atoned for our sins, who showed us the way to live and how to pray, and who demonstrated by His own actions the blessings of service, even our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the book of Luke, chapter 17, we read of Him. And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there he met ten men who were lepers, who stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, he turned back with a loud voice, glorified God, fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten? cleansed, but where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. Through divine intervention, those who are lepers were spared from a cruel, lingering death and given a new lease on life. They expressed gratitude by one merited the Master's blessing, the ingratitude shown by the nine, his disappointment. Do we remember to give thanks for the blessings we receive? Sincerely giving thanks not only helps us recognize our blessings, but it also unlocks the doors of heaven and helps us feel God's love. My beloved friend, President Gordon B. Hinckley said, when you walk with gratitude, you do not walk with arrogance and conceit and egotism. You walk with the spirit of thanksgiving that is becoming to you and will bless your life.